Okay, here we go. Uh, page 674, number two, sentence correction. Hurricanes at first begin traveling from east to west because that direction is the way the prevailing winds in the tropics blow. But they then veer off toward higher latitudes, in many cases changing direction toward the east before dissipating over the colder, more northerly waters or over land. Okay. So uh, let's take another read here, a uh, close reading. Hurricanes at first begin traveling. Okay, well, it's kind of sneaky, and people say it all the time, but at first begin is a redundant phrase because at first means at the beginning, and of course, so does the word begin. They both mean the same thing. That's the very definition of redundancy. So that gets rid of answer choice A. So let's look at B. At first, hurricanes travel from east to west because that is the direction of the prevailing winds in the tropics, but they then veer off toward higher latitudes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's very good. Um, that's going to be the answer. You can see I've already written down the answer here, B. Uh, you know, I like how they say east to west because that is the direction. So right after they establish east to west, they specify that it's a, a direction, and uh, I definitely like that. Um, Okay, so let's continue. Uh, C, while hurricanes travel from east to west at first, the direction of the prevailing winds blowing in the tropics, and, well, okay, uh, the book explains this one a lot differently and, a lot, and in a lot more confusing manner, uh, but I think the easiest thing to take a, point, take a look at here is that at first is not a direction. It's okay to say that east to west, comma, is a direction, but you don't want to say east to west at first, comma, the direction, because it, it kind of gets in the way. It implies that this th last thing before the comma is the direction, when obviously the direction is east to west. So even though you can kind of figure that out in your head, it's still not good practice grammatically. Uh, and then the other thing here is that the appositive itself doesn't make sense when followed by the word and. Uh, so even if the, this appositive were correct, it would still have to pick up uh, where they left off before the first comma. So remember the trick with the positives. Um, you should be able to skip over the entire appositive and have it make sense. And that doesn't work here, because you can't say, while hurricanes travel from east to west at first and they then veer off. That does not make sense. Okay, so not C, uh, not D because of the word because. Because hurricanes at first travel from east to west, since it is the direction of the prevailing winds in the tropics, uh, they then veer off toward higher latitudes. Well, we don't want to change, even though the original is often and usually incorrect, we still want to preserve the meaning of the original. Uh, and in the original, we, we don't have some sort of causal relationship. We're not saying uh, that the hurricanes veer off because uh, of their initial direction. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then E, hurricanes beginning by traveling from east to west because this is the direction of the prevailing winds in the tropics, comma, they then veer off toward higher latitudes. Uh, well, you'll see what I wrote here. Uh, where did the verb go? Uh, the verb disappeared because if we follow that same trick we learned on C, and if we skip over the appositive, which means a phrase separated by commas on both sides, to see if it makes sense, uh, it just doesn't make sense because here's our first comma, here's our second comma. If we skip over this whole phrase, then the sentence would read, hurricanes, they then veer off toward higher latitudes. That clearly does not make sense. And so we can cross off E. And uh, as I said before, the answer here is B.